Hey family, why are we up so early on a Saturday? We're going off-roading! Off-roading! They're perkier than I am. We're off-roading the Bronco. <laughs> Quick reminder, we got our 2021 Bronco Sasquatch on August 5th. If you want to see how our journey to buy a Bronco went, click here. To be honest, we really don't know much about going off-road. We're total newbies, so we're smartly going to uh, make our first off-road adventure in the Bronco, one where we sync up with somebody who knows a lot more about off-roading than we do. A guy I know named Mike Levine, who I've known for more than a decade. I knew him back when he was with Trucks.com, but now he works with Ford PR. So he's always off-roading. We're going to steal his precious hard-earned knowledge. Cactus Gray meets Cactus Gray. Bump. That's right, sweetie pie. And in the interest of keeping the wilds wild, Mike has requested that we not say specifically where we go. Just know we're driving through the mountains and uh, it'll be scenic. And if you're curious what the mountains look like, then uh, it's worth hopping in your off-roader and going and do a little exploring. <laughs> or maybe ask Mike to take you out. <laughs> He's kind enough to take us out and we're tedious, so. <laughs> Hey Mike, do you mind if I uh, see what your gear setup is? Yeah, so just for a day trip, here's what I take. Usually I'll take, uh, you know, just a jacket because we're up in the mountains, you never know, right? Because yeah. it might rain. I got, you know, got to bring the drones. Oh, of course, of course. You know, I got a, I got a book of trails just, Ooh, cool. just because. I got a gear bag. So I always have my knife. I got a satellite communicator. Oh, dang, I should have brought mine. That's yeah, good. So this pairs up with the iPhone. Yeah. So um, what's cool is I can always text with people and I've actually had to use this to save some folks. It helps save a kid's hand. Uh, really? Uh, yeah, from an accident that oh my came gosh. across out in the middle of nowhere and uh, it paid for itself. We had air air, air uh, services come in. Whew. Uh, you know, always got to have a, a leather man, mm -hmm. right? Because you never know. Uh, always take, you know, take a hat. Mm -hmm. uh, I got a water filter. Uh, I got a flashlight. Got my air compressor. I have two two tire patch kits. Even though I got a spare tire, you never know when you need a patch kit. You know, not just bears in the woods, but you know, you always bring a shovel. I was shovel like, is that a claymore? No, no it's a, a shovel. That's this great. Is a shovel. So, <laughs> uh, yeah. So that's the uh, that's kind of all my day gear. That's all way more compact than uh, I might have expected. You know, what's nice is I just throw a couple of recovery boards in the back, and cool. then they're they're covering up right now the uh, toe straps. Okay. I would say probably like every fourth trip out on the trail, wind up recovering someone. Just because, yes. I mean, anyone can get stuck at any time. True. So it's just good to have, good to have a toe strap either for yourself or for someone that you come across. Sweetie, in three minutes, I stole Mike Levine's information about gear. And you got it on video because there's no way we'll remember that. Exactly. road is blocked by uh, large earth moving machines. What better time than to crack open a delicious lime flavored Perrier. Perrier, it seems fancy, but it's per just bubbly water. Perrier! It's happening, we're on dirt. Yay. The off-roading begins. So we just got on dirt. It's starting to get a little rocky, a little hilly. What's nice about following somebody who knows what they're doing is that um, you can watch their line choice and if they can make it through, and in this case, like if the uh, Ranger uh, Tremor can make it through, then the uh, Bronco Sasquatch should have no trouble. <laughs> These are narrow trees. Are we wider than the Ranger? <laughs> we are wider and you've immediately undone my point. <laughs> Sorry. Hey, it, it's a solid point. <laughs> You're something of an off-road sommelier. What goat mode pairs well with the trail we're on now? I would just keep it in, in uh, four high right now. Okay. So you've got uh, trail control. So then um, once you start moving, mm -hmm. you'll use your um, cruise control buttons Yeah. to set your speed. So you can do it up and down in one mile an hour increments. You know, maybe start out with two miles an hour, see how that feels. If you feel like 
you know, you're slipping on something, you're not going to slip on anything in this. Yeah. You can always lock one of the lockers. Like I see, well, you've got one. one now I put it in sand mode. It kind of presumptuous. If you do, it, and it'll do it automatically for you. That's the nice thing about having the goat modes. Yeah. Is it automatically configures everything for you. Sweet. Cool. All right, man. All right. Lead on. So I've got crawl control engaged at 1 punt mile per hour. My feet are actually not on the pedals and it's just taking us down this hill at a very modest pace. People call it different names. Sometimes they'll call it a quadcopter, sometimes they'll call it a drone. But it's a little flying camera, basically. That is crazy that it's just like... On its own, doing its own thing. Yeah. <laughs> You look how close it got to the tree! It's crazy! Wow! It's like it's, it's going crazy. <laughs> I mean, the Bronco's pretty cool. But look at that drone! Yeah, I mean, I know this is supposed to be about the Bronco, <laughs> but that drone is amazing! I really, I actually wish we had that kind of drone. We spent a lot of money on the uh, Bronco, sweetie. I don't know if we're getting that drone anytime soon. <laughs> about the Bronco, but I'm like, man, that drone. We could not stop talking about the it drone. Is, uh, it's the Terminator. Yeah. It's, 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 it's totally. It's, it's Skynet. <laughs> what would the drone say while the drone's flying? <laughs> that is true. <laughs> okay, now that the drone's not flying, we can talk about the Bronco. How is that? I mean, every time I've driven this thing so far, it just feels very effortless. But again, that quadcopter is really <laughs> amazing. I do have one note though. Um, so using crawl control, uh, it's kind of cool to be able to just set a speed and then think about your line and that kind of stuff and not worry about the throttle and brake. Um, except if you're me, I don't really care for that. I really like the mm. fine control of using my, my brake and uh, accelerator. So good to know it's there. Might come in handy at some point. Not really my jam. One observation about the Bronco though, the high hood uh, means I have to stay back a little bit farther from Mike's bumper so I can see where he's going. Otherwise, I don't really have a good sense of the terrain. That might be a good reason to go with one of the higher trims where it has a front camera to have an increased forward visibility. Mm -hmm. So what do you think in terms of passenger comforts off-road? It doesn't feel off-puttingly jarring. <laughs> Yeah, like I think our nearest point of reference would probably be the time we spent uh, driving around in the Gladiator up yes. in the mountains where we live. Oh, and compared to that, this is a lot smoother. I would be really interested to try the standard Bronco um, because what we have is the, is the uh, Sasquatch packaged Bronco, which has the position uh, sensitive dampers. Uh, so I'd be curious like what the standard suspension setup feels like off-road, but I can tell you the Sasquatch feels great. For everybody who contacted me via Instagram DM saying, hey, are you gonna let your wife drive? The answer is yes. Okay, Mike, do you have any like hot tips for Evie, who's a uh, novice off-roader? <laughs> yeah, so I mean, what, what's key here is, um, you know, follow me, see the line that I'm doing, and then you'll kind of get a feel for it. Um, but you also want to make sure that don't rub the sidewall against any rocks that are sticking out, oh, uh, especially okay. the sharp ones, because the sidewall is not the strongest part of the tire. The strongest part of the tire actually is the face of the tire. I'll always put the, the face of the tire over the rocks and crawl over that way and avoid anything sharp touching the sides. You don't want a sidewall puncture. Because I can definitely see me trying to avoid a sharp rock and then getting the sidewall on it. Yeah, yeah. So, so you want to avoid that. And then also, if you try to straddle a rock, you risk the rock coming straight up and then just, you know, scraping along the bottom of the truck. And it's yeah. nice because you got all the shielding underneath there. Always, let's not test that. Let's not test that. Always, <laughs> always, you know, look for at least one rock or two rocks where you can always straddle things. Okay. And that way you, you kind of stay above the fray by walking over those things. I Absolutely. really appreciate the advice and being able to follow. Yeah. Cool. Okay, we'll follow you. All right. How do you feel? How do I feel? Yeah. I feel nervous, of course. All right. Good job. <laughs> Good luck.
Oh look, there's the tire. You found it. The easiest thing will be just if you put your tires where he put his, nice and slow, then. Uh, and like on these flat sections, these flat open dirt sections, you can go a little jump. faster. Yeah. So stay back just a little bit so you can see where his wheels are going. There you go, that's good. I already forgot where his wheels were over here. Just put your tire over that rock and you should be fine. Oh, he got bored and left. <laughs> Later. <laughs> Going up a hill. All right. Just when you're feeling like a cowboy in your Bronco. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the dog's taking the easy road. The dog is going too fast for me. <laughs> yeah, the dog has bested the goat. <laughs> Hi. Hi. It's a good looking Hi, dog. Josie. Hi, Josie. I've never seen a cowboy real life. Right? It's a real life cowboy. Aww. This is why we come to the wilderness to see people who are more wild than us. <laughs> What do we have here? Sweetie's first water crossing. <laughs> Get it. This is Sweetie's Okay. Looks like you're ready. Go for it. Gas. Okay. Gas, 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 gas. Yay! Go yeah. park next to Mike. You water crossed! Oh, yeah. Yay! This is where, if we could afford the rights, we would play Aerosmith back in the saddle. <laughs> I'm back! Do I get a water crossing? Kind of. Oh, sorry. I get a puddle crossing. Splash. Sorry, sweetie, I took the good one. There it is. Oh. <laughs> if anybody asks, I crossed a river. There you go. But sweetie, you didn't panic. <laughs> Sorry, I missed one of the important steps. You must panic whenever you're not hurting. <laughs> That's how your mama does it. Yeah. Look, I'm getting my proper water cross. It's like rocky and there's a river, Whoa. stream, close enough. So family, what do we think about our first real off-roading adventure with the Ford Bronco? This was super fun and it was the perfect combination of more technical stuff for you to feel challenged and easier parts for me to dip a toe in, in beautiful, spectacular nature. This was really fun. But did you feel confident? Yeah, confident would definitely be an overstatement, but I did feel very reassured by the fact that this has capability way beyond my level. Kiddo, what was your favorite part about driving uh, the Bronco off-road? Um, the water crossing. Oh, what did you like about the water crossing? Mm, I like the splash. Yeah, it was a little splashy, not too splashy, tread lightly. I think there are definitely more challenging trails that the uh, Bronco would be up to, but for what we're trying to do, which is like go have family fun and sort of ease ourselves into this without tearing the undercarriage out, uh, I think this is a really good first dip. This is why I wanted the Bronco though, is to be able to go explore places we couldn't in um, our CRV. Well, thank you for joining us for our first off-roading adventure. If you guys would like to see more of this kind of stuff, both on and off-road, we're gonna be tracking our Bronco adventures here, so feel free to subscribe. 
And if anything goes wrong, if we break anything or anything breaks, we'll be sure to tell you about it. What do you think, family? Have we earned our high fives today? Yeah. Five me. Five me. And you, come get your high five. Ah.